video as promised per Instagram. So, <coughs> giant trendy. Excuse the uh, attire. So it's a medium frame. Went for medium. Probably should have gone for a large. It's uh, cause I got it stacked up here. Details anyway. Medium frame. 80.5 centimeters saddle height. Shimano pedals. 175 cranks. Rotor powered max chainring. It's rotor powered max parameter. 56 chain rings. I tried riding 58 before, but that resulted in me not being able to cycle. And uh, yeah, don't do that, kids. So <coughs> we're riding 56, as I said, 5644. Zoom in on that if I can. Bam, bam, bam. Look at him, mad, mad camera skills. It's gonna that didn't work. Love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, my camera skills are impeccable as they say. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, anyway, sorry. I'm trying to get this. Yeah, 56 chain rings. Normally ride a wax chain, but chain is not wax and it's really loud. So I've got SRAM uh, ETAP. Don't recommend it. It's good like, but it's just batteries die real quick. Um, <coughs> what else we got going on? So I have, you can see the bars are angled up. There, I'm using Fourier's, I think it's called. 15 degree uh, risers, they're designed for Giant Trinity. Um, got normal giant bars in there through an extra spacer on top that didn't come with it because I need to get higher the bike's probably too small for me but I've got a short torso so went for the went for the medium then obviously got a normal bottle cage in go for training and the like but yeah as I said uh, last year at the nationals I got injured mainly because I was riding a 58 2 trainer and I hadn't retrained on a 58 <coughs> So we ride in that 50 seats. But another reason that I got injured, I'll just stand up, hopefully the camera's not too shaky now. Another reason I got injured was saddle. So now I'm riding the physique arrays with this this bad man thing. Don't know what it is, but it kind of stops me slipping. <clears throat> so it's nice and narrow. Previously I rode a pro aero fuel and it was too wide, I've got really narrow hip, uh, not hips, really narrow sit bones and my hips are quite wide which is really bizarre <coughs> but if I ride a narrow saddle I it impinges my hamstring which leads to overloading the glute and that's how contours glued at the nationals for those looking for details I bought this because this bike isn't designed for a SRAM ETAP so the E-top is there, as I said, front and rear mechs, ideally, I have DI2, as I said, this bike is not built for a SRAM E-top, um, but there, was, there is a way around it, because the blip box goes in here, it's a company, an English company called Kismet, and they're basically, <coughs> they make carbon, carbon stuff, and I've, I, I would have tried to do it, I've made loads of carbon stuff before, but I've run, run out of carbon, so left it to the professionals, so the blip box goes in here, and the normal the normal uh, cover for the, for the DI2 is much smaller and sleeker, but this works well for the, for the, the E-top blip box. So as I said, I've got it nice and stacked. I've got stackers under the pad as well. Ideally, I don't have them, but I can't get this any higher. <clears throat> so that's like a 13, 13 centimeter drop, I think, from saddle to to pad. But ideally, as you see all the custom bars, the pad and the the armrest thing are <clears throat> are closer together. So it's less of a gap, but I need this height. So. Unfortunately, that's how that's how it has to be for me. 
as you see I'm using the profile design uh, cups previously I made my own cups and they're better but the profile design ones I found I had them lying about at home and they're nice and cupped you can see, see the angle there they're pretty uh, a pretty round shape so that I can actually push up against here and it makes me narrow my shoulders so the the setup there is actually quite wide widest I've ridden and I just kind of did it by by eye I'd love to go to the wind tunnel but I've never uh, it's too expensive like for for someone like like Khan anyway so I'm using this uh, don't know what brand that is that Garmin mount that won't focus, good, good times, good times. Um, so yeah, got carbon joint, arm rest, our, our extension poles. The brakes on the Trin Trinity, they're fucking shit. Listen to that noise like, it's tragic. Absolutely tragic, I don't know if you heard that actually. My hand was over the microphone. But yeah, don't mind the wheels, the wheels are Chinese shite. Um, but yeah, a few specs. I'll go back, put this camera back down. Wait me a sec. <clears throat> a few specs now anyway. So saddle height, 80 centimeters, pretty much, a little bit over it. Cranks 175 as previously stated. Uh, I'm pretty much, uh, cause I'm like on the limit of the, uh, the height allowance. Height allowance is 180. 188 or 190 or something. I'm 185 and a half centimeters, so it's kind of shit. So I'm kind of snugly on the bike. So five, saddle is five centimeters exactly behind the bottom bracket, uh, and then we're 85, uh, 80 or 85. I think it's gonna be 80. Yeah, it's 80 from the center of the bottom bracket all the way to the tip of the extensions. So yeah, um, TRP brakes, they're good. To be honest. I, I prefer the shiv. I had a shiv. I broke a shiv. It was lighter. Don't know if it was quicker. This bike seems seems to be quicker. If if you can measure bikes by quickness, I think it's the person piloting the bike that makes them quick. But um, yeah, when I'm racing it, obviously I'll put the aero bottle cage on. That came with the uh, comes with its integrated giant bottle cage. Seems seems to be the job. Anything else I can think of? No, not really. Obviously, I'll put race wheels on it when I'm racing, if we're racing, if there's any season in uh, 2020. Um, yeah, as I said, it's a bit heavier than the the Shiv, because there's so many bits. Building up, building this bike up was such a pain in the ass, because, I don't know if it'll zoom, yeah, it's zooming there now. See the heads, the, I don't know what, what to call that, but underneath the bar, there's like, let's see if I can get there, there, there's like, I bet thousand bits. It's over engineered. Fuck. Look. Yeah, it's slick, slick machine. Cost a pretty penny. But uh what can we do, lads? What can we do? Can't empty the bank account on it. Anyway, that's the tech. Well tiger pedals forgot about them. Um that's the tech anyway. That's the video I promised. Let me know if you'd like it. I've stopped kinda of doing the podcast because I haven't really I don't know, I haven't really been, uh, didn't really get a good, no, I've just been lazy, but uh, if you want the podcast back, let me know, if you want more videos like this, let me know, obviously this is a bit rusty, this is the first video, but um, yeah, we can improve it, always room to improve everything, lads, keep the head down, get the training done, you never know when we'll be back racing. In my haste, I forgot to give the, the cockpit details. So, as, as I said, the ETAP is not designed for Trinity, so I've had to get a bit crafty. If that can, if that will focus in, let me see if that will focus in. No, it won't focus in. Basically, this is where the ETAP wire goes. So I've got it running from here, where I've taped it. And it goes through hit through the armrest out the end and it wouldn't fit through here so i had to get the old dremel out hope giants don't see this because it's completely void of my warranty but get the dremel out make this hole a bit bigger 
comes through the stem down down through the frame and up into the in here into the blip box area and um, I'll put skater tape on for racing this is kind of cool this is a neat little detail so I used a an old inner tube and it was a pain in the arse to get over the blips but an old inner tube is much better much more aero much more nicer grippier like than a bar tape in my opinion one of them has cracked all the way down basically I need to need to replace it but um yeah let me know send me in your setups guys fucking geeking out on the uh, TT bikes what else you be at no one else to be at